Well, hey guys, back with another video here. Uh, we got some sprayer tracks there. Better slow down. They're gonna be pretty rough. Uh, today, today we are field finishing. We're dressing up fields. We got some wet spots here. There's some sort of spring going through the middle of that. Gonna lift up the crumbler here. Um. Yeah, it is pretty damn wet out here. We got massive, it's a lot darker in real life, but there's a huge thunderstorm coming our way. And um, yeah, so we're cruising along. We're gonna see how much we can get done here. I don't know if I don't think we will. We're doing 80 80, so eight, this is going to be corn. And then there's 80 of corn over there, corn stalks already, and that's going to be soybeans. We're cruising along at nine, about 9 mile an hour. So, yeah, I don't know how much we're going to get done. But you can see there's a little bit of mud flying, but there's quite a bit of dust coming too, so. This tractor has plenty of horsepower for this. This is a only 20 footer. Um, we actually had this when we had back when we had our DT1 160. So you have a 106 horsepower tractor, you can pull this. So that's this thing has about 350. So we should we can pull her as fast as we want to. If I wanted to, I'd probably pull it at 10 or 11. I can usually pull it at 10. I know that. We got same auto steers. What's the planter tractor? Looks like so far we've covered 642 acres right there. So we got the auto steer. And yeah, it's it is not looking pretty. Oh man. So we're gonna be Dad's out planting right now. I don't know how much longer that's he's gonna last there. He said it took him like an hour to fill up with fertilizer and reseed everything. So, cause he's by himself. Otherwise, that probably would have gone a little faster. But you know, you could divide and divide and conquer. But I, I, I don't know. Dad told me go out here, and do this. So. I'm following his orders. Otherwise, I would have, I would have gone over there and helped him get that planter going. I think that's planter is a lot more important than this right now. Because if it's going to rain anyways, there might be a possibility that we're going to have to cover this back over again. So I don't know. It is, yeah. Like I said, you can see all that dust and everything but it is wet you see the mud flying off the tires there it is wet clouds are covered no sun there's quite a bit of wind though as you can see quite a bit of wind um, which I mean that's good that'll help dry this out but at the same time if it's gonna rain anyways I won't do no good So yeah, here we got the hydraulics are right here on this knob. So you pull back and it lifts her up, push forward, puts it down. This is for the crumbler. So when I go through a mud hole, I'll pull back on this and I'll lift the crumbler up. And so then we don't plug the crumbler. The crumbler is that blue thing right there. It's got these rolling baskets. And, um, yeah, you see right there, it's got those rolling baskets, and if you go through mud, those will, it will plug up, so you gotta be, you gotta be careful about that. Um, and they, they are a pain, once they plug up, you can usually, if you got a nice, flat, smooth field, you can usually unfold it. And then just just haul ass across the field, and sometimes, 
sometimes you will get the mud out of the baskets, but other times if it won't come out, you're there all day with a pry bar just trying to get that mud out and it is it's terrible. So you really gotta make sure you're uh you're watching them things. See I'm lifting her up right now so we can go through this mud hole right here. This is uh look like this part of the field right here it's pretty bad. But I don't know how much of this dad is gonna plant. Depends on when we do plant it, because if it's going to rain a lot, I mean, we'll be down for a while, unfortunately. I think we're up to four, four and a half quarters, yeah, four and a half quarters of corn planted, and about 30 acres of oats alfalfa. So, not a whole lot planted, unfortunately. We'll uh, have to see what happens here in the future and what we do, how we're going to get all this planted. I don't know. We're just going to just keep plucking away everything. That's about all you can do, really. If you don't, if you don't start working on stuff, then it'll never get done. You might as well just get her done. Press the auto steer there. Push this down. Put the implement in the ground. And I push my SV1 right here. Speeds the charger back up to the RPMs and the speed. This has also got the CVG transmission in it, just like our planner charger. So all you do is you just Put this into forward right here. You flip that forward or in reverse. And you just push on the lever. You can, it just pushes and it goes. You can also push it up here, push this forward, and it'll go too. This is a DT240A egg co. Should have around 240 horse, but we've had it on the dyno, our local. Uh, dealership. We've had it on the dyno like six, seven times, and every single time it's been on the dyno, it was running um, 350 to 360 for some reason. Don't know why, but it is. Yeah, see, it's it's pretty muddy right here. Look at this whole spot. That's why you gotta lift that crumbler up. There wasn't much dust flying. There's mud flying off the tires, and it is uh, something else out here. It's pretty wet. But when you don't get that, there's a top crust on this field. It's probably like that thick, probably an inch or so thick. And uh, if you don't break that crust, the sun in the air is never going to get to that wetter soil that's in the bottom. So you have to break that crust in order to start drying things out. So this, even if it does rain, as long as it doesn't rain four inches, as long as it doesn't rain four inches, this is helping because we're breaking that crust. That crust that got formed over winter time and everything like that. Because once you get a ton of moisture, it flattens the little tiny clumps out, flattens them out, and that makes this hard, thick crust. And you can't, the air or sunlight can't get to that, then it makes it wet. I suppose we can get out here and uh, I'll show you how wet the, see it's nice and easy, you just pull back on that, there it goes. Boom, it's in park. We'll get out here, look at the soil. Sorry for the wind noise, it's probably pretty bad. It's so yeah, I got into some deep mud here. That's 
crazy. He had to unhook it and then pull this out with a chain.